November. Most of us know it as the month of giving thanks. It's also a month that often gets rushed. The emphasis always being on Thanksgiving and preparing for Christmas. But what about the rest of the month? There are nearly four whole weeks that just get glossed over. I've always known November to be a time of family and togetherness, of comfort. But after my mom died, that really changed. I've been trying to put my finger on what it is that I've always loved about this month. I remember as a kid, I would spend all my time outside. I'd play in the woods literally all day until sunset, climbing on fallen down trees, making forts, swinging on the tire swing, jumping in piles of leaves. I can still see my mom cozied up in her navy blue sweatshirt and jeans. She would get excited and say, it's sweatshirt weather. I'd come in from playing to a heartwarming meal fresh from the oven because it was finally cool enough to turn it on. I would play soccer with my cousins until it was dark out, and then we'd go inside and make movies. I've always loved my camera. I miss this so much. I grieve this so deeply. Now, I'm alone most days. Seeing my husband only for a mere couple hours in the evening, and the stresses of adulthood have taken over my life. My body is exhausted. Each day I wake up feeling even more exhausted than the day before. I drag myself out of bed only to care for my sick dog when I hear her stir. I feel as if I can no longer find joy or even make it for that matter. I only look forward to going back to bed. So how do we get that joy and comfort when we're exhausted and depleted? How can we truly enjoy November? Here are some things that I want to incorporate into November this year to try and get even just a little joy and comfort back into my life. Yes, this November I am prioritizing comfort. Getting dressed in autumnal attire, this doesn't have to be anything fancy. Something as simple as throwing on a cozy sweater or sweatshirt, one that's long enough to grab the sleeves and pull your hands inside. I love a good long sleeve. Soft lighting like LED candles and the glow of the fireplace instead of that harsh overhead lighting. Puzzles have always been a part of my life, especially this time of year. For as long as I can remember, my grandma has always had a puzzle on the table. And November is the perfect time to slow down with a cozy drink and just be. Pop some popcorn, watch a cozy film like Sleepless in Seattle, or Little Women. Tis the season for hot apple cider and chai lattes. A couple years ago, I made my own homemade apple cider with apples from a local orchard that I picked. I do not have the time or energy for that in this season of my life that I'm in. My chronic illness and my chronically ill dog have taken all my energy from me. Give yourself permission to not do it perfectly. Do what you can with what you have. If that means buying a box of those little apple cider packets or a jug from the store that you have delivered to your door because you don't have the energy to go shopping, then do that. Make heartwarming meals. They don't have to be complex. Something as simple as a grilled cheese and a can of creamy tomato soup that you pour into a mug and microwave can be just as cozy. Conserve your energy, dear friend. I highly recommend visiting your local library. I see so many bookstore videos and book hauls, and if that's what you love, that's fine. But libraries are so underrated. They have so many books, and a lot of them you can just check out and read from your phone. I also have so many DVDs. You don't have to spend a dime to find some cozy reads or films. There have been so many times that I've bought a book only to find out that I didn't actually like it and then I was stuck with it, feeling guilty for spending money. Libraries are such a wonderful resource. In a world where there is constant stimulation, there's something to be said for just being still. I like to drink my coffee in the morning in silence. No phone. 
just staring at the birds on the trees and the last of the leaves trying their best to hang on. This is also the perfect time to think of things you're grateful for. Not just during this month, but every day. Slow down. What do you hear? I hear the hum of the fireplace, the snores of my baby sleeping peacefully. Take a breath of that chilly autumnal air. Look up at the sky and simply just be. Well, I hope that this video brings you comfort. I also hope that it helps you realize that people's lives aren't perfect and life is messy. This is my life right now and I just, I watch all these videos of people's fall day in the lives and they look so perfect and I tried to be that for so long, but it, it's not real, you know? And I just want you to know that I just don't want you to ever feel like when you watch my videos that your life is less than. Um, my life is messy and stressful and I just want comfort and joy as much as the next person. And I just hope that that shows through a little bit. While I do try to post things that are pretty and beautiful and capture these moments, that's not life every day. You're doing the best you can and that's good enough. I hope you know that.